Hello Scorpio! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Star Spinner Tarot by Trungles. Trungles is at the bottom of that little purple diamond looking thing. Excuse me. Support, or um, there's a website for this one too. Is it, I can't read it. This is a little Chronicle Books. There we go, dot com. So if you want to find out more information from them, that's where you do that. Support of Oracle Cards, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Um, no website on that one that I saw anyway. Scorpio. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a. Uh, well, we'll see. Oh, I've warned the other water signs that this is a um, deck that has a lot of love cards in the sense of like, there's at least three, if not more, lovers cards in this deck. Um, so if we get a lot of lovers cards, that's why. Which is cool. It's fine. I'm alright with it. You did get one lovers card though. <laughs> you got it starting right off. Um, Coming into this situation, you have the woman holding a coin. Don't get caught up in the gender. But it's kind of like, it's kind of, I feel like I figured out the puzzle in a sense. Or I know where this is going to go. I know how this is going to be handled. Um, I've been doing well with it this far. This is how I handle that. That's how I handle this. Um, it's almost like everything has a place and everything in its place type feel. I'm not saying you're doing it the same way every time, but you're doing the same, like, how do I explain this? It's like, you know, every birthday we need a birthday cake, and you make sure there's one there. It may not be the same birthday cake, but you're like, I just get it there by noon, whatever birthday cake I think is appropriate, and that's what it is. Um, this is this is how I handle it. And you've been handling it the same way for a while. Especially with that woman holding a coin, this is a pattern that's been around for a while. Doesn't mean it's like, you know, extremely rigid, rigid like oatmeal cookies at 5 p.m. every Tuesday. It's not like that. It's kind of like we're going to have a birthday party either Saturday or Sunday. I can bring whatever dessert I want. It has to have a cake. I mean, there has to be a cake involved. It just has to be there by noon by whatever day. So it's like there's a little bit of leeway, but there's always like by noon there has to be some type of cake when we get together. And I, I'm responsible for getting that cake, that type of feel. And you're, it's like, that's cool. I get to decide what type of cake. We get to decide if it's going to be Saturday or Sunday or maybe some other day. Everybody has off if that happens. Um, works out. Passing the test. Sometimes the lover's card is passing the test. Things working out. Things matching up. Uh, and the, the Knight of Cups is kind of like you're very happy with how that's going. You do have adversity here from other people, but I am also getting that it doesn't hold you back, doesn't seem to really bother you in any sense. Maybe other people are like, you know, can't we just do it at like, you know, five or maybe even later? Can't we wait till like eight o'clock at night? And you're like, listen, it works for everybody. If we do it at noon, we're going to do it at noon. And there might be like people who are like, no, 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 let's do it later. You're like, no, it works for everybody at noon. We're doing it at noon. And that's how it's been going. That's how we're going to keep going. And there's people that support that, people who do, there's, there is some adversity, but there's people who support that. Um, and you have enough support here where you don't really have to deal with it all that much. People start griping about, oh, can't we do it later? We'd rather do it later. And other people shut it down before you even have to deal with it. Other people are like, nope, nope, the Scorpio's right. We do it at noon because that's when everybody can get together. So that's when we're doing it, noon. And that's how it is. Oh, I don't want to do it so early. Too bad. That's why we're doing it. You don't even have to deal with it. Other people seem to be shutting it down. No, no. They're, they're trying to back off this hostile energy, which isn't the worst energy. It's just complaining, griping energy. Uh, I don't think it's the worst thing. Um, coming forward to the next situation, I mean, you are a water sign, and I've said this, I'm sure I've said this a lot. The water signs are intuitive naturally. Doesn't mean other signs aren't, but like... Usually the water signs have a bit of intuitive knowledge going on there. And when I'm getting the 6th and 7th chakra coming in for you, 
you know that you know that this whoever's griping, even though you don't have to deal with it for the most part, it doesn't go away. And you're like, all right, sooner or later, this is going to be an issue. You're handing this over to somebody else. Before it becomes, before it becomes your issue, because you're not going to have the patience to deal with this. You're just going to be like, listen, bam, I'm not, I'm not playing games with you. I'll, I'll flip the table before I put up with your crap. <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from, but that's what I'm feeling. Like, I, I don't have patience for this. But you know what? I'm going to hand this over. You know, I've been doing the birthday cake at noon for the longest time. I'm going to give somebody, I'm going to hand it over to somebody else with this Ace of Pentacles. You're giving this Ace of Pentacles to somebody else. Because you're, you're like, this is going to change. This is going to have to change. You seem to be very, it seems very intuitive. Like, I know a change is coming up. And I feel like it's going to be the easiest way to do this if I hand this over to somebody else and see what happens from there. Scorpio is willing to do that every now and then. Kind of like, you know what? I know a change is coming. Let me just hand this over to somebody else who's also responsible and just see what happens from there and I'll just kind of roll with it. That way also it's kind of like you can catch the pop flies. Like if something goes off a little wonky, you're not dealing with the major situation. You're over here on the side. You're like, I can pick up the pieces. I can correct this. I'll let the person, somebody else handle the main part of it. That way I can keep an eye on the perimeter. If something goes wrong in the perimeter, I can snap right in and deal with it because you're good at that. I feel like you're really good at that. When you see something going on around you, you're like, all right, I'll, yeah, and I'll handle it. It's the intuitive thing too. You're like, I know something's coming. You're like, I don't know. I have this weird feeling. Something's not going to go right. And you're ready for it. So we got rest, rejuvenation, walk away, and the fool all at once. I feel like this is almost like three different things all at once. Like it doesn't feel like it's the same. I feel like there's three different things. Somebody just not doing what they're supposed to do. It's almost like, you know, okay, we get together at noon and then people aren't showing up. People are saying, I don't want to show up, so I'm not going to show up. And then other people just kind of going, I don't understand. Like, why, why is this happening? <laughs> I don't understand. We got certain people saying they're not going to be there. And they just can't. They don't feel well or whatever. Other people just saying, I'm not going to do it. And now the people who were like, like, but it's my turn. Like, it's, but it's my birthday. Like, this isn't fair. Like, why am I getting screwed? This ain't fair. All this seems to happen all at once. Um, and you, this, the fool card is kind of like... I just feel like I don't understand why this is happening. <laughs> I feel like you're just like, I don't understand what's going on. Um, I don't understand what's is happening to my situation. Three different things going on here. When this happens, this isn't okay with you. Um, some, like this situation that's been very stable for the longest time, you hand it over to somebody else and just, poof, it just, it just implodes like in five seconds and you're just like whoa whoa wait what <laughs> um you didn't you knew something was gonna go wrong but you didn't realize that was go what was gonna go wrong is what i'm getting you're like oh all right i knew something wasn't right but i didn't realize that was gonna happen um what's the deal i feel like i'm just kind of like absorbing the information at this point Four of Pentacles shows up in the situation. This has to be rectified. So we got to fix this. Um, it's interesting how the Four of Pentacles, because it's usually about, I feel like we're going to hold, this is going to work out. It's kind of like you're stepping back in like, oh no. No, no, no. That's not how we're doing this. <sighs> give me back that Pentacle. I feel like that's what you're, it's kind of like, all right, give me back that, give me back that stupid Pentacle. Give me a bit. Give me that pentacle back. I feel like that's how this is going. Give me that pentacle back. Um, this isn't right. We're not going to let this happen. I feel like you're pulling it back into order. You've got the nine of swords, the knight of swords, and the ten of wands coming in. There's a lot of stress here. Stress here. You're really not happy about this. You're just kind of like, what the hell happened with that? You pick up the situation, you put it back in order, you're not happy. That Nine of Swords makes me feel like you're kind of angry with this. Um, and you're putting the situation back in order. You're kind of like, really? Like, and you handed it over to somebody that you like, they're responsible, they, and they did what they were supposed to do, 
But when you handed it over to this other person, people just kind of, they just jumped ship on the whole thing. And it's kind of like, what's the deal with that? It does re-solidify. It goes back. When I'm getting the Eight of Pentacles, it feels like it goes back in order to me. Because um, I'm getting like this compass feeling. Like I got north, east, west, south, and then I got all the like halfway directions. Like southwest, southeast, northwest, and northwest, north, north, east. You know, all, all, all eight of those directions. I feel like the, almost like the wheel of the year has just been put back into place. And things go back the way they're supposed to be. Um, people are very, the, like, people are happy. The right people are happy. I'm getting the door to value coming in with the world. Kind of like, all right, I got to take care of this. I have to, um, it's kind of like I can't walk away from this. If, if I walk away from it, it's going to stop. It's not going to work. Apparently, I can't hand this over to somebody else. Um, there's anxiety here for other people. I feel that Fool card especially has anxiety. Kind of like, I don't understand why this happened on my turn. This is not fair. Um, I keep getting that energy keeps repeating. Like, that's not fair. It happened on my turn. That's not fair. It happened on my turn. It just keeps repeating and repeating and repeating. You might hear about it a lot. Um I don't think you're going to be calling out people who jumped ship because they're back on ship because you went and you got you threw them the diggy or you threw them that little lifesaver little thing that little circle thing and you're like get back on this boat <laughs> you're like get back on this boat um and they did I feel like they're kind of like expecting you to go off on them I don't think you will though for some reason like I don't know it's not like you're shy um you don't. I just feel like you don't, but there's anxiety. I feel like you're kind of just letting it be. There's anxiety here, obviously. The word anxiety is right on this, but I feel like people are upset with each other now. People are taking this personally. Like, what, did you do that to me? Like, this person, again, like, did they do that purposely to me? Was it Like, they show up for everything else, but when mine comes around, they just screw me over. Like, I don't understand why they did that. I'm, somebody's very upset about this. Um... There might be residual problems that pop up later between other people. I think this is going to breed problems between other people. Um, and people aren't going to come... Well, are people going to come towards you with this? This this person who's, who's upset might tell you, talk to you about it, but I feel like they may go on about it for a long time. The other people who were just trying to get out of it I don't think they meant it as a stab to this person. I don't think they did. But they, they just genuinely just didn't want to be a part of it. They just wanted to walk away from it. Um, it wasn't meant, like, it wasn't meant as a stab or, like, a, a slight to this person. It wasn't. But I feel like they just wanted to do something else, and they just... It's the same as the, it's the complainers, again. They just, they've been like this, and when you stepped back, they found, they thought they could get away from it. They, they thought they could escape the situation, so they took their moment and they did that. But it's like, it's not really against this person, but they keep taking it that way. And I feel like it's just something you need to be aware of, and you'll handle it as you need to. Um, I feel like they're just giving you some extra information about what's going on here. Like, what are you supposed to really do with this? is a good question because I don't think there's anything you can do to make this person happy and I don't think this is going to change over here um, the fact that I do think there's going to be a problem between these two people or two groups of people I think that's what needs to be addressed because I feel like they're saying that's going to be an underlying problem that's going to be like you know it's like under the soil there's like a bad it's almost like you know when somebody dumps poisonous materials outside and then they cover it up so you can't see it but then all of a sudden like you're noticing things don't grow that well there anymore I think that's what this is about and they're saying there's going to be residual problems here and in, I think sooner or later you're probably going to have to dig that up and clean it out and fix it because nobody else will and it's the situation where you constantly have to deal with it it's kind of like I can never get something to grow there so I guess I have to dig up that area, clean out the soil, put in fresh soil in there and start growing something new. That's basically cleaning up this mess. 
uh, I think sooner or later you're going to have to clean up this mess. And I can see a lot of you going, I don't have to do anything. And I agree, you don't. But that's what they're saying. is like, It's either kind of put up with the discord or clean up the mess. That's what they're giving me. Take it with a grain of salt. Take it where you want to. <laughs> put it back. Run away from it. I don't care. Whatever you want. I'm just going to go because I can see like the Scorpio energy I'm connecting with is kind of like, I, I feel like I'm going to get really annoyed with this. Kind of like, you know, come on, people. I feel that energy. But they're saying, yeah, it's kind of like either accept that nothing's going to grow there and there's going to be problems or clean it up. It's Because the people involved won't. So it's kind of like, oh, I guess nothing's going to grow there and just being okay with it, which you won't be. It'll annoy you. Until it finally aggravates you to the point where you're like, all right, I'll fix it. I'll fix it all right. I'm getting that energy kind of like, oh, I'll fix it all right. Um, it's going to annoy you. It's better to deal with it sooner than later. The, the sooner you deal with it, the sooner it moves on. You can just get rid of it and move on from it. The longer it lingers, the more it's going to aggravate you. Even though you may not want it to, when it does pop up again and you realize these people are not getting along... It's going to just like, is that going to pass? And then you're going to realize it's not passing. It's just lingering there. Let me just deal with it to get rid of it. I think they're giving you a heads up with that. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james4astral at gmail.com. Thank you.